Ladies and gentlemen, I have tricked you because this is not, that's not me, okay? This is me. You've been on my channel 10 times, we went on three dates, you told me I was handsome, we even held hands, but you still didn't subscribe to my channel. Tell me why, okay? No, it's okay. I'm doing brand new stuff here. If you wanna see this stuff in the future, it's AutoCAD 2022. We're going from the very basics of isometric 3D block modeling all the way to the advanced 3D modeling in one single playlist. So if you wanna see it, you gotta subscribe, you gotta like the videos, you gotta comment, tell me what you do and don't like. That way I can make this content perfect for you. So do me a favor, follow me on this journey. Here we go, I'll see you out there. All right, ladies and gents, I am in AutoCAD 2022 and we are doing the number seven figure on my sheet that's on the screen right now. Uh, if you want, pause the screen, take a picture of it so you can see the plan later on, or I'll just bring it up accordingly. Uh, this is my second video in the 3D basics to advanced of 3D modeling. And here we go. All right, I'm looking at the size of this block and I'm trying to figure out what side I wanna draw first. The most detailed view here is obviously the front side, not the right side, not the top. If I were to draw the top first and extrude it down, I'd then have to draw a box down here and two circles and extrude those and subtract all three. Not too hard, but we can do better. Uh, from the right side, it's gonna be the exact same thing. If I drew this rectangle first and extruded that back, we're then gonna have the same scenario where we have to build these three shapes. But if we draw it from the front view first and get that 2D stuff out of the way, then it becomes just extrudes and, uh, and subtracts. Okay, so it's a lot easier. So this model size is 20 plus, so we got 50 wide by 45 tall by 20 deep. All right, so we're gonna start with 50 by 45. In AutoCAD, brand new document. All right, so if you haven't seen the video before this one, you're gonna to wanna to check that one out. I go through all of my settings, some of the basic tools in the software, and for this one, we're just gonna draw it, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to see that video first. I'll link that somewhere up there so you guys can see it. I'll also put it in the description. So starting with the front side, you wanna change this to be the front side, and with a line tool, I'm gonna to draw down 45 enter. You'll notice that that goes way off screen. So I've got to adjust my zoom, zoom out a little bit with the scroller on the mouse, and then you can pan by holding down the button on the scroller itself. So that's your pan. Uh, back to the line tool, we're going from the bottom left and we're going 50 across. We're then gonna go up 45 again, and then we're gonna close it, okay? Now, looking at the plan, we have 15 in, 12 up, 20 over, 12 down and then 15. So we can do a couple different things here. We could actually just start with a 12 line at the midpoint and go up 12 on that green line. That's called polar. Make sure F10 is turned on. Uh, if the width of that opening there is 20, that means I'm gonna go offset 10. So you always split the number if it's, if it's based on the center of the drawing. 20 left, 20 right. Get rid of the initial line, connect the tops. And then we're gonna go into trim. I just like to type trim here or T enter. You can do it either way. Um, remember, if you're in 2022 or 2021, you are already in a quick trim and you can just click whatever you want. If you're in 2020 or older, you're gonna have to hit an additional enter. So if you're in trim, like I'm trim here, hit enter again, that makes you, that gives you a quick trim and then you can click whatever you want to trim off. All right, so the bottom's already done. All right, looking at the top part, we've got two circles here. They have a 26 uh, dimension between them, 15 down. So I'm gonna start with that number, offset 15. We're gonna go 15 down from the top. Uh, if it's based off the center again, we could offset the left side by 12 and the right side by 12. Uh, or you could start in the center and go 13 left, 13 right. It's really the same thing. It, it's just a matter of preference. So let's go 12 this time. And we'll go 12 from the left side in, 12 from the right side in. Uh, the way offset works is you click offset, you type your distance, 12, enter, and then you click the line that you want to offset and which way you want to offset it, left or right, and then click. Now I have a double line. I'm just going to get rid of this. All right, so two circles, what size are they? They are a 10 diameter. 
So we're gonna go to the circle tool, which is behind the polygon tool when you're on your 3D tools. If you're not seeing 3D tools right now, go back down to uh, the gear down here, which I'm not sure if you can see. Let me see if I can move myself up on the screen here. Okay. Um, so if you go down to the gear, you can go to 3D basics, or if you're still just drawing, you can use drafting and annotation. That's up to you. Let me move that up a little bit more. All right, so I'm on 3D basics here. All right, so going back to my circle tool, you'll notice that there is no diameter tool in the 3D basics tool set, but you can still click that radius circle tool, click it where you want it, then hit diameter or D enter, that's up to you. And we have a 10 diameter circle, so we go with 10. I'm gonna hit space bar, that brings me back into circle. I'm gonna go back to this new point, diameter 10. Now, I don't need these lines anymore. I call them dummy lines. Um, they're just lines that you draw in order to get a position of something that you need to draw. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to, and this is a very important step, take all of these lines, not the circles, it doesn't matter if you keep them in this selection, but in this case, just because we're teaching, I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click these circles to deselect them from my selection, and I'm gonna type join. If you, and also pay attention to these numbers, eight objects converted to one polyline. What that means is it took eight lines, so you should count, make sure that there are eight there, and it made it into one single polyline that you can see is highlighting on the screen. Now, I'm gonna go back to my top, and I'm gonna to go to the bottom right corner of my view here. That's gonna give me an, what we call an isometric view. It's Southeast ISO. And I'm gonna take all three of these and extrude them at a depth of 20. So now this is important. I didn't say this in the first video. If you wanna go forward, you just do 20 enter. If you wanted to go back, it's negative 20 enter. Uh, in this drawing, it's the exact same thing. It doesn't really matter, but there are situations where you need to go up or down or forward or backward, okay? Uh, so looking at my model in conceptual, a lot of my students stop here and they think they're done, but you've got a model actually two models inside of another model. If I were to delete this, it's not going to cut that out. That tool is called subtract. So I need to go to back to my 2D basics, or I'm sorry, 2D wireframe. I'm gonna go to subtract. You click what you wanna subtract from, and then you hit enter. And then you click what you wanna subtract, and you hit enter again. Now on 2D wireframe, it's gonna look the same because it's the same edges. You will notice though that all of them light up together all right, so I'm gonna go to conceptual to check this model out and we're taking a look at it and it looks pretty good. One of the things I like to do though is use the orbit tool to move around and take a look at the model and make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. If it is the way it's supposed to be, don't forget to reset your view back to the top and then the bottom right corner. And this is the way that we print. Uh, when my students print, we put it on hidden. That saves a lot of ink, but it actually does look pretty nice on conceptual or shaded with edges or something like that. Um, this model just would need line weights. So you're going to go back to your drafting and annotation. You're going to select your model. You're going to go back into line weights here. And we like to put 0.7s on there. You'll notice that the line weights did not change. But if you turn on the toggle down here for show hide line weight, that'll show you your line weights. Uh, if you don't see that toggle, you have to go to customization and click on line weight. Okay. I don't know if you can see that behind my mug there, but it's like right around there. Okay. Uh, it's called line weight. Uh, one more thing when you're orbiting, if you're in a tool and you're in the middle of something, let's say I'm in offset and I'm doing something with offset. And if I go to orbit here, it's going to boot me out of that tool. But if I'm in offset or whatever, and I hold down shift and I'd use the scroller on the mouse, that button, I can hold that down in orbit as well. So it's just shift and clicking this middle button down, holding it down, just like you would with pan but shift first and then that gives you an orbit that you can orbit around and see your model from different sides, okay? So anyways, this model is done and what we're learning here is not just how to create this specific block, but how to learn the different tools in the software in order to draw anything that you wanna draw. So now that you know the subtract tool, you're able to uh, do some of these other models that we're gonna do in the next few videos, but we are gonna add some tools to that as well. So it's gonna get a little bit more complicated as we go on. All right, so listen, that's the end of this model. Uh, keep in mind the process of what I'm teaching you. It's it's the mentality, uh, the, the thinking process of how you go through these models. What side should you draw it from? Where should you create your different shapes? 
how do you subtract them different things like that that are going to teach you how to do other models that i haven't created videos for okay um but listen while i have you here why don't i just ask you please 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 if you could like the video if you learned something if you could subscribe to the channel if you want to see other videos i have a ton of different playlists um, that you can go through that are from very beginner basics of 2D to 3D to AutoCAD architecture to all kinds of different stuff. I even do video game design work and um, Adobe Illustrator with graphic design. There's all kinds of videos that you guys could check out that you would learn a lot from, all right? Um, obviously trying to build up the channel, so I really appreciate it. If you turn on that bell, that'll also notify you of any future videos that I come out with. All right, so listen, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.